This routine is brutal, but it's getting me through my medical degree. Why don't I show you guys a day in my life? Every single morning starts the exact same way. I get up at 8am sharp. I then head straight to my study desk and pour out 30 grams of special case cereal into a bowl and eat it. While watching some YouTube, of course. And you guys are probably thinking at this point, why is he eating his cereal dry? My answer to that is, I don't really like milk. So I just like having the cereal dry and it fuels me up and gets the job done. The next part of my day is the all important getting ready for the gym. I pack my gym bag, I put my gym clothes on and I head out and get to the gym. And now at this point in the video, I am going to cue gym montage. As you guys can see, I've just lifted some weights to start my day. This is usually how I like to start my mornings and it just gives me a really good hit of dopamine before getting on to slightly more boring tasks in the day. If you guys want a bit more insight into how I balance gym alongside medical school, make sure to comment below. I'm going to be making a video on my gym routine alongside medical school very soon. Around 11am I come back to my room and I then get changed into my study clothes. I'll then head straight to the library and the next couple hours are going to look a lot like this. Now in terms of what I'm actually studying, I'll show you guys. So as you can see, I've got a spider map. And uh, I've essentially mapped out the different first principles of what's called cardiovascular examinations. This is how doctors generally kind of look for signs of heart murmurs and things like that. So I've kind of just broken it down into the different things you're looking for and the different first principles that really make up the examination as a way to help myself learn this in a much more streamlined and useful way. A lot of my studying does combine these types of active recall and also synthesis approaches. And if you guys want to learn more about study techniques like this and how I've got first class marks at Cambridge, do leave a comment below and I'll make a video soon. Around 4.30 p.m. I'll then have lunch. And you guys are again probably wondering why is this guy having lunch so late? And the reason is I like to reward myself with food after I've done work. Is this the most optimal, healthy, amazing thing in the world? Probably not. But, I do find it really effective to reward myself with food. So this is the routine that I always end up getting into in my exam seasons. Sometimes it gets kind of bad when I'm eating food at like 6pm and that's lunch. But anyway, that's how it ends up being. I then head back to the library and continue studying for the next couple hours. At around 10pm, I will then head home and eat dinner, watch a bit of YouTube, eat a bit of frozen fruit, and then head promptly to bed and it's lights out at 12 p.m. precisely. As you can tell, this routine is pretty brutal in terms of every single waking moment being spent somewhat productively. This routine is also not that sustainable, but small caveat, I don't live like this all the time, I promise. I do have fun sometimes. Just not right before my exams. Well, not anymore. There you guys have it. That's the brutal routine that's getting me through medical school. But what I want to touch on is kind of the principles that go into this routine. I think the main one is I really try and avoid what I call dead time. This is time either spent not relaxing or not working. I either want to be in a very deep state of productivity or just recharging my batteries. Think about it, when was the last time you guys felt super satisfied after scrolling on your phone for hours on end? Probably not recently, probably not ever. And this is one thing that I really kind of try and design my life around in medical school. Try and use my time usefully, try and at the end of the day be able to tick off a list and say I use my day usefully. I think this is just quite a fulfilling and productive way to live and it's something that's really helped me to do well over the last two years of medical school. So why don't we take a round off of the whole day. From 8am to 12pm, I was either in the gym, getting ready for the gym, or getting ready to go study. 
From 12 to 10, I was either studying or eating or sometimes speaking to people. And from 10 to 12, I was eating dinner, I was getting ready for bed, and I was watching YouTube. So that totals to about four to five hours of eating and life stuff, including gym, and about nine to 10 hours of studying, which is quite a lot if you ask me. However, I know people who do a lot more. So one thing I really wanna preach is efficiency. Don't try and spend 20 hours a day studying. Set yourself a somewhat reasonable maximum, even if you're super busy, and try and stick to that. Try and be as efficient as possible. That is the brutal day in my life that gets me through Cambridge Medical School. And if you guys want some insight into what life is like as a Cambridge medic, what goes into doing well at med school, and just kind of the whole landscape of healthcare in the UK, make sure you leave a like and you leave a subscribe because I'm going to be posting weekly on all of these interesting topics. Thank you guys for watching.